Hello, I welcome you all. Uh, the problem reads, uh, the truss supports the vertical load of 600 newtons. If L is equal to 2 meters, I determine the force on members HG and IHB over the truss and state if these members are in tension or compression. Uh, this problem is coming from the mechanics uh, statics uh, textbook, uh, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. Right, so we have been asked to find HG. Where is HG? There we go. And HB, this one. Right. Okay, so let's say for finding HB, uh, one of the solutions would be to section the member here. Right, we have the left hand side and the right hand side. And once we section this, uh, which section yourself, which section would you use if you are in my shoes? If you took this section, that is. Alright, for me, I would use uh, the right hand uh, section and take moments about B. Is that fine? Mm -hmm. Take moments about B. And then our shoe. Um, or I know already that this cord on top is going to undergo tension but it doesn't really matter whether you know or not because this is a this is a, it's a tension cord this top cord is going to because this is going to bend like this right so we expect the top cord to experience tension so i'll assume tension forces like so there all right and take moments about that use the right hand section all right this is the, the first case okay for h g and then we have another force which is h b h p this one uh, let me put it in red this one so which section will you take for me i'll take this section okay uh, left hand side right hand side right and uh, this one uh, let's say it's going to undergo some compression so we assume like so, like so, and then which section do you, are you going to use? Uh, for me, this one we had assumed already to be in tension like so. Okay, since we've already found HB, HG rather, I'll use the left hand section and take my moments about point A. All right, take my moments about point A. All right. By this time around, I've already found the, all the support reactions. So this is what we're going to do in the follow-up uh, discussion. So let's start with uh, working and drawing the free body diagram. We know that at um, the hinge I, we're only going to have one reaction in the direction of IH. Okay, we only have one reaction force here, like so, which is IX. Okay. While at A, since we have this inclined member HA, all right, HA. HA is going to introduce um, a, a vertical component at A. Therefore, we're going to have two reaction forces, AX and um, AY. All right, so let's take moments about A quickly. So we have summation of moments at point, uh, about point A and clockwise has been our reference. What do we have? We have and we've been told L is equal to 2. So all oh, this is 2, this is 2, this is 2. All right. I think let me put it in red. It's not very visible. This is 2, this is 2, and this is 2. All right. So there we go. We have uh, this one is going to give us uh, clockwise, which is negative 600 by 6. And then minus again i x i deliver arm which is three equal to zero therefore my i x is going to be equal to three there one three there two and two by six hundred we're talking of minus one thousand two hundred uh newtons minus so it means this will have to change it will have to go like this and it makes sense like so right this is equal to 1200 newtons okay uh we found the first case let's find the other uh, the other cases uh, 
summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero and reference in that direction so we have ax uh, minus okay i've changed the direction for this so i'm going to use this case here i've changed the direction already okay initially it was like that but it doesn't matter how you solve this for me i'm going to assume this direction right now so i'll just give it directly negative all right minus ix equal to zero all right so we already know what ix is therefore ax we expect it to be the same but just opposite direction all right so there we go let me just wrap this like so so ax is equal to 1200 newtons and then summation of forces in the y all right summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero uh, what do we have we have a y minus 600 equal to zero therefore our a y is equal to zero newtons so this is equal to this is equal to 600 newtons okay so let's do what we had discussed let's um section the beam i mean the truss here we have the left hand side right hand side and we are going to take moments about b and we are using the right hand section i'm not going to redraw this i'll use the same one so i'm assuming in here i'm assuming here we have a tension force like this so i'm using the right hand section we're using this section okay right so let's do that let's go for it so summation of moments let me just draw a demarcation here a demarcation all right so summation of moments about point b so we are using the left hand section maybe i indicate here okay so left hand section i uh, right hand section so right hand section right hand side right hand section all right so summation of moments about point b equal to zero anti-clockwise been our reference so what do we have uh we have um a clockwise moment by 600 by 4 right and then we have uh, anti-clockwise that is this force here this force here which is h g okay right this one here okay this is h g this is also h g all right so clockwise giving us a clockwise moment about that point by the lever arm which is a three do we have any force there no 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 equal to zero so three there are one three there are two and then we have um, a 200 by four 200 by four that's 800 therefore our hg is equal to 800 newton and this is in tension right of course um uh, anything else um we are done with this one so let me remove this line quickly we go to another point where we need to section so we remove the section line and okay i can leave those ones there so another so we'll go to now so we have done we are done with hg let's go to hb so we had initially discussed this so we are going to section this here like so all right and I'm going to go with the left hand section and I'll take moments about point A. Okay. And since I'll take moments about point A, I'll, I'll indicate these forces, but they will not have any effect. Force in A, B. Okay. They will not cause any moment about point A. Okay. What we are looking for is this one here. Okay. This one here, uh, which is, we are calling this as HB. This is our HB. Uh, this is our HB 
all right so now uh so we are saying uh left hand section so taking moments about point a so it says summation of moments about point a equal to zero anti-clockwise being our reference what do we have about point a we have uh, this force here the support reaction is going to give us anti-clockwise so 1000 by the lever arm which is a three all right what else do we have we have uh, uh hb hb is giving us also anti-clockwise we have assumed it to be in compression hb by mass lever arm by two what else we have hg hg is giving us a clockwise so it will be minus hg we already calculated this by uh three is equal to zero do we have any other force mm -mm. so our hg is here so all we do is just replace our values and find what sorry this one here we say this hp not hg okay this one is hp okay this one here all right so hb by 2 minus hg this hg here by 3 mm -hmm. okay so let's find what hg is so therefore our our hb rather let's find what hb is our hb is going to be equal to we have 1200 by 3 mm -hmm. uh, minus 800 by 3 mm -hmm. and then divided by 2 we have a 600 minus 600 newtons so let me just come again by 3 minus um, 800 by 3 mm -hmm. and divided by 2 minus so it means our HB ideally is supposed to be not in compression but in tension all right uh we are done uh we have found our hg which is equal to 800 and we have found our hb which is equal to uh, 600 all right and i hope uh, the video is helpful if it was give me a thumbs up like my video share my video and continue subscribing uh, bye bye and uh, see you in my next uh, screencast.